Welcome to our paper titled Do Not Back Off More Than You Can Chew Investigating Access Permission Request in Trigger Action Integrations. Trigger Action Integrations, including the FPT, the Zypher, and Smart Things, as, as the FPT as an example, it has 20 million users and supports nearly on 700 third party applications. It uses simple rules if the trigger events happen, then execute the action events. Here are two simple examples. For the first one, if new email arrives, then synthesize the attachment of this email to OneDrive Cloud. The trigger service is the email service, while the action service is the OneDrive service. So it connect it connects two different services, email service and OneDrive service, and forms some simple automations for user. For the second one, if I leave the home, then start a clean job. It also connect, connects two location service and the smart home service and forms some simple automations for the user. But here comes a question immediately. If the IPT wants to perform such kind of automation on behalf of users, it must have to perform actions on behalf of users and must gain the authorization from users beforehand. For example, this is the OAuth permission FTP requires from user. It requires to access users' photo, videos, and also access or edit users' uh, photos and documents. But if we take a closer look, we can see that uh, on the left hand, there is no such API called uh, My Drive Delete My Photos. This definitely violates the least privilege and may cause severe security issues if this uh, permission are manipulated. So we come up with our research question. We want to check the permission and functionality consistency in current uh, uh, trigger action integrations. So we will name the functionality permission like F and the awesome permission, which is the declared permission as D and the accessive permission are obviously D minus F. And uh, as this, we have identified uh, many interesting things in our paper. And uh, for the details, please refer to our paper. Thank you.